So they were like holding it up on the yes. end. Oh, I see. It went like that. Yeah. Okay. But it fell when they put it down. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. We'll fix it. This is the Prairie Mountain seventh grade class. We're at the Wave Research Center at Oregon State University. We're actually studying the subduction zones along the Oregon coast, and we're expecting some kind of earthquake within the next 40 years, probably a 40% chance of an earthquake, major one, which will generate a large tsunami. So the issues along the Oregon coast are big ones being currently addressed by lots of civil engineers and government officials trying to find some better paths to saving people's lives than just simply running uphill. First design we make, we know it's not gonna be the end product. The kids have a problem to solve, how to save more lives along the Oregon coast. And one of the solutions that are being closely looked at are vertical evacuation structures. I'm really happy to see all these structures. They build a one to 50 scale model and the materials are provided by Oregon State University and essentially they're little wood columns and wood blocks and double-sided tape. So it's a big challenge for them. Those tsunami evacuation structures are bolted to the bottom of the wave pool and there's a succession of waves that are released to see how many waves those structures can survive. Who's just waiting for your structure to break? <laughs> All right. My design was triangles because triangles resist a lot of pressure from all directions. But I didn't have enough materials to make it a double triangle. But still, my plan was to make it to where it would resist. And then I had, I know that a base is supposed to be lighter because my thought process was think of something really old and really strong. I thought of the Eiffel Tower. It's full of triangles, it has a wide base. So I tried to design my structure similar to that to where it would withstand great force. Ah! Uh. Whose structure is this? Raise your hand! Very good job! I was like, oh snap, it's not gonna survive, but I thought the bottom maybe, because you have to make the bottom the most strong part, but I'm very proud of my team. And it's a big hit with the seventh graders. They love this project. And I really appreciate OSU for developing this program for us.